Now remember, children, when it's raining blood outside, you gotta put on your raincoat so you don't get blood all over your white tuxedo because that's just a stain that you do not want to deal with. All right? All right. Oh, good lordy. Oh, good lordy. The blood moon was interrupted by a goblin army. Now, this is actually going to be pretty shitty. And I'm probably going to die a lot. But nonetheless, we are going to try to prepare for this. So we are going to use a crap ton of our water. Ooh, oh, okay, maybe we'll go over here. Alright, this is what we're going to do. We're going to build up a nice little wall like that. Ooh, ooh, this is the third goblin army I have faced and hopefully... This will be the only one where I will not die. But we will see. We are going to... Ah, oh, dude, it's just the freaking chaos balls are so annoying! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, well, that's a fish. That's a fish. We got our... This going on. We might as well just, like, add all of these. No, we can't. Oh, we have a warmer! Oh, we got a top hat! Oh, no, wait. It's raining. Alright. No, not time to be fancy right now. Time to survive. Alright, so I'm going to use my water bolt. Oh, man. Oh, God! Okay, so I'm going to use my water bolt, and I'm going to... I built that other wall over there. Um, and it's going to hopefully protect me a little bit. I just got to watch out for those freaking chaos balls, because that's not fun. That's not cool. You shouldn't be able to shoot through solid ground. Like, what the crap is that? That is just... That's cheating. That is what cheating is right there. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. So actually, with the Goblin Army, it's probably a lot easier to fight them out in the open because those guys can teleport. The guys who are shooting the little phaser balls, they can teleport. And if you're inside an area like this, watch here. Let me just, let me just hang out here. Ooh, a Goblin Sorcerer banner. Yeah, see, they'll, they'll go down there, and there is no way... For you to get them, but they can definitely shoot at you, which is not not cool. We're gonna go back over here. You suck. You suck. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Hopefully, I will be victorious. I believe in myself. Let's go, you little goblin butt faces. You ain't got nothing on my water boat. It's so overpowered. Oh yeah, yeah. So you can get the water boat fairly easily if you uh. Make yourself a couple small worlds. Ow, ow, ow. And just run through the dungeons. Um, don't go too deep in the dungeons or you'll get just absolutely murked by the dungeon protector, dude. But go through the dungeons and check out all the bookshelves because every now and then on a bookshelf you will find one of the lower level spell books, such as the water bolt, the fire bolt, and I do believe there is a lightning bolt. But I don't know what the Fireball Lightning Bolt does. I just briefly skimmed over it or heard about it in the video, I think. I don't know. Don't quote me on that one. But we're actually doing, we're actually wrecking these guys pretty hard, which is pretty fantastic. Makes me feel good about myself. So I think the mistakes I was making earlier was I was just holed up in my house and the, the sorcerers were just tearing me apart. But I think... I think we got this down. Oh yeah, I think it's ending. Oh, I saw a slime. Does that mean it's ending? Please mean it's ending. You ain't got shit on my water pole. Yeah, yeah so I would highly suggest early on trying to find these water bolts. Because it's pretty great. And you can use them to find a lot of good stuff, which I will... Oh, I actually might, might explain now. So, with these water bolts, they, uh, they bounce off of things, right? You guys see, if I shoot it there, it'll bounce off. So, there are magical floating islands in the sky in the Terraria world. Um, a, a small world usually has two, a medium world has up to three, and a large world has up to four. But, they're up in the sky somewhere, and you usually cannot find them. Unless you, I don't know, get wings or fly around. I don't know how people usually find them, but the way I find them... Or actually, I think I've watched this on, um, 
someone's someone's speed run. Someone did this in the speed run. He went and found a water bolt within like five minutes. Ran around the entire map, shot up, which is pay attention to shooting up. You shoot up every now and then, and every time you see one bounce down, that means there's going to be a freaking floating island up there. So you can do this with the water bolt or any um, basically anything that's going to reflect off of a surface at an and be able to go all the way up there. So, I mean, I think there are bullets that reflect. Oh, man, these the arrows are not cool. So, I think there are certain bullets that reflect. There might be arrows that reflect. I don't know. I haven't done a terrible amount of research yet. Oh, so, this is, this is getting wrapped up pretty good, I think. Ow. Ooh. Ooh. But this guy in the butt face. This guy. Alrighty, I'm just gonna... Oh, yeah! I've been defeated! Do I get anything cool? Come on, give me something cool. Nothing? Did I get anything cool? Got a harpoon. It's kind of cool. A banner. Spiky balls. And... I think that's it. Alright! We defeated the Goblin Army! Hot diggity dog! Okay, so... I was going to start this episode with me going off and finding the meteor, but I'm scared, and it's, oh, I have a lot of map to explore. It could be anywhere, man. It could be anywhere along this black line. It could be one meteor, so I think I might wait on the meteor. I think I might wait until my brother gets home, and then him and I are going to go in opposite directions, and then if he finds it, then we'll head over there, and if I find it, then he'll head over here, or I'll kick him off the server and do it myself. Who knows? Who freaking knows, man? I don't know. I don't know. So I think I'm going to wait until then. Because I don't want to do anything else. I just want to get some armor. Um, we could, I guess, run around. No, uh, I'll do that later. I'll do that later. I'll look for floating island some other time. But yeah, this is how you do it. You get a water bolt. You run around like this. And you just... Fire water bolt, kind of at a good angle so that if it bounces down while you're running, you kind of can see it. But eventually, I keep doing this and I keep running down a special little water bolt. And these are the best water bolts. When you see some flying down, you're like, oh, that's a gift from the freaking heavens. You can build all the way up and get your goodies because there are some goodies up there. Like a good sword, something that negates fall damage. And hey, look, another tree. Hello, tree. All right, tree. Okay, we're gonna explore this tree. That's what we can do. Well, it doesn't require too much armor. Maybe we can get ourselves like a living loom. Hmm. Let's just hop on down. Come on, goodies. Ooh. I believe. I believe. Consumes wood. It can be placed places that leaves. Six iron bars. Not too shabby. I'm going to take your stuff. Thank you for your goodies. I'm in my chair. And we might make ourselves a special little room. Or I could use it for the dryads place. Yeah. Okay, is there anything else? Nope, that's it. Seriously, come on. That's lame. Lame. Alright, so. I'm going to pause and take a break for a little bit and we will start back up once my brother is home which should be extremely interesting because I've never recorded with anybody like this so we'll see keep your fingers crossed alrighty we are back and we have got ourselves a little little friend Mason's actually just in the other room you might be able to hear him yell or make weird noises yeah, like that. So I'm going to have him run around and do his own thing while we were playing. And if he can find the meteorite or the dungeon or anything else that is of absolutely spectacularness, then he will let me know and we can go and venture on together. I'll also probably use him to help me face some of the bosses. Maybe we can go find Skeletron once we find the dungeon. Stuff like that. But other than that, we're kind of just going to ignore him. He's just going to be doing his own thing. I'm going to be doing my own thing. And we should have an adventure. Actually, we 
should go in different directions and look for the meteorite because I need some armor. Sound good? <laughs> Alright, so I think we are going to try to use the chat because I don't really want to be shouting. And if Mason really needs to talk to me, I don't know if you guys can hear him picked up on the mic. So there is a chat and we've been talking, we've tested it out. <laughs> you can see our nice little conversation. But, yeah, so do you want to go that way, and I'll go this way. Alrighty. We're off on an adventure! Okay, so I'm going to speed this up because this is a this is a fairly large world, and I'm going to be... I have a feeling I'm going to be running for a while before I find anything that is awesome. So, yeah, and we'll be back. Oh shit, I found it! I found a meter right! Yeah! Yeah! Alright, so Mason, it is just over to the right, past the, uh, past the big tree and past the snow biome. Oh man, there's these motherfuckers. <clears throat> Alright, so I am going to wait until Mason gets here, because I'm going to need some backup, because these guys are not fun to deal with while you are trying to mine. But I guess I could. I'm gonna try to dig down. We actually, we could go get some bombs. Mason, bring bombs. All right. Okay, cool. All right, Mason is here, and he is going to help me mine this away as fast as we freaking can, so we can get out of here without getting murdered by those little meteorite head dudes. All right, we're just gonna fast forward through this part. Hopefully we don't die. Hopefully Mason doesn't die. Alrighty, we are almost done with the meteorite. Pretty freaking sweet. So, basically this whole process of getting the meteorite, blowing up that shadow orb, or one of the crimson devil hearts that you will find if you have a crimson instead of corruption. Blowing one of those up and getting a meteorite to fall down and getting all of its goodies is probably the easiest way to get some higher quality armor. Um, you could also try to defeat the uh, the Crimson of the Corruption boss, which is the Brain of Cthulhu, or the Eater of Worlds, or Souls, or one of those things. And they drop a whole bunch of, like, Demonite and stuff like that. But Meteorite Armor is pretty freaking good. And I'm going to head on home, steal all the Meteorite Ore from Mason, and make myself some armor. Oh uh, yeah. Alrighty, we are back at home, and this is all the Meteorite stuff that Mason got, was the 39 Meteorite Bars. And this meteorite ore, and then I've got 150 more meteorites. So let's see what we can freaking get out of this. First, we will make our more of our meteorite bars, and then ooh man, look fancy stuff! Oh, oh, a space gun! All right, let's see. Fancy, fancy shit, guys. Now, I really want the ham axe, but... Oh, we might get it. We might get it. No, wait, we need... We gotta get the armor first. Unfortunately, we need some freaking defense. And I cannot make the ham axe. Unfortunately, we will have to wait for another meteor. But we've got this sexy-ass shit going on right now. 
Let's actually leave that helmet on. Alrighty. We are pretty freaking sexy. Alright, let's see what that helmet looks like. Yeah! Oh, you can see my green little beak. Uh, 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 yeah. Oh, dude. Mason, when you have full meteor armor, you, uh, you give off flames. Oh, yeah. That's pretty sexy. That is pretty sexy. All right, so I think we are going to end the episode here. We uh, we went out and got some meteor armor, did the Blood Moon and the Goblin Army, and it was good. I think next episode we are going to go face the Wall of Flesh and see if we can get ourselves an arms dealer into our little town and probably build the merchant little house as well. So until next time, I will see you guys again. I hope you guys enjoyed and hasta la vista.